Hey everyone, it's Draw Fun Page. I know you probably all thought that I wasn't going to be posting another video ever because my last one was like a year ago. And I figured that now that I'm home like all the time, I maybe should start making videos. I kept trying to make them, but they always seemed too overwhelming and complicated. And I just like kept giving up midway through. But since then, I've done more social media stuff with like Instagram, so I've gotten more into it. So I thought maybe I could try it again. And I'm not going to be doing something too complicated. I'm just going to be doing like a character study and kind of character tutorial. Um, my, I think my most viewed video was the How to Draw Amethyst from Steven Universe. I know it's a really popular show and I've recently gotten into it. It's really good. Um, so I thought that I would do some more from that show. But instead of just a drawing tutorial on a specific position, I'm going to be doing a bunch of different positions. I don't have a script for this video or like a plan, so I'm just going to kind of go through the episodes and pick positions that I like um, for Garnet. So that's a character I'm going to be doing. Um, so I'm going to do different positions, different angles, um, because that's the best way to really have your, like have a character and do it. If, you're, if you want to put it like in a comic or you want to do like an animation, it's really good to not just draw them in one position, but to find a bunch of different positions. And the best way to do that is from the episodes because there's a lot more positions and expressions in the episodes than you can find on the web. So yeah, I'm going to start with just the, the later theme song one, just like the first shot with her face because it's like a really simple pose. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be doing a bunch of different expressions and I don't have a tripod so it's kind of a weird setup here. So I hope you guys can see and like the camera doesn't like wobble a lot. I'll, I'll do my best to not shake the table. So yeah, so I'm going to start with just the theme song one. And I'll try to explain what I'm doing. Um, yeah, so... I always do the face lines. It's the easiest way to make sure that you're putting the eyes in the right spot. My hands are kind of shaky. Uh, I'm just nervous that I won't get this video up. I really want to. Yeah, so I was trying to make like a flip book video of a flip book that I made but it was just a lot of footage and I wasn't talking in it um, and it was and it got really boring and I and then I looked back on some older videos of mine and I realized that you guys were leaving me like requests to draw stuff and I was just so like happy that you wanted me to do more so that's why I'm doing this but it's also fun so in order to draw accurately to a specific picture, you have to make sure that you're looking back at the picture a lot. Don't just look at the picture once and then go to your paper and just start doing what you remember. That is why a lot of time, like if you do that, a lot of times it's going to be not accurate. And a lot of times like my friends or um, other people will come and say like, it doesn't look right. And I'll look at the picture, like the actual picture that they're copying from, and I'll immediately know it's wrong. So you have to keep looking back at the picture. Mm -hmm. Sorry about that. There's cars outside the window. Um, so you have to constantly look back at the picture and, making, and make sure that you're doing accurate proportions. Um, see where things are relative to one another. So I'm doing the mouth now. I can see that I think the glasses are too low. So I'm gonna move them up and the nose too. So yeah, I'm gonna keep looking back. I think the reason that I wasn't posting, another reason I wasn't posting videos is I was afraid that um, that wasn't going to be like good enough, 
quality videos because I feel like I'm older now and I should be making better quality, more in-depth videos. But yeah, I mean, I'm not like a professional video maker, so it was really hard to do like the editing and stuff. If you guys have any good editing programs, tell me because I haven't found one that's like really good. I see a lot of people doing drawing tutorials with a Sharpie and that's like something that really annoys me because if you're going to be doing drawing um, and you're trying to do it accurately and you're not just doing like little doodles, then you're going to want to use a pencil and an eraser because you're always going to make mistakes. Okay, so that's pretty much it. You can't see the top of her head in this shot, but I'll kind of just extend the hair like this. Um, yeah. I'm sorry if I wasn't explaining a lot of what I'm doing. It's kind of hard because, like I said, I'm not professional at this. So, I am going to find another shot that I'm going to draw. Yeah, so I'll be right back. Okay, so the next position that I found is a full body one. It's a very good, um, like, sturdy position, um, and I think it'll be pretty simple. So, it's in the episode Coach Steven, season 1, episode 20, and the timestamp is 1 minute 27 seconds, if you want to see it also. I mean, I'm going to be doing it here, so you're not going to have to look it up, but if you want to, then that's the timestamp. So, it's, yeah, so it's just like a full body position. I haven't actually done Garnet full body yet. I have only done the face in this sketchbook. I've done quite a lot of Steven Universe stuff in this sketchbook, um, but I haven't done the full body one, so this is gonna be my first time. So yeah. So I'm gonna start with just like sketching out like where each of the limbs are gonna be. So like the legs, and then the arms. This is an easy way to make sure that you're gonna put everything in the right place because one of the most annoying things is when you do like a super detailed face and like torso and it looks like really great and then you realize that it's in the wrong place. <laughs> so always make sure that you're putting stuff in the right place before you do it. So okay, so now I'm gonna start doing like the chest here. People always say that I draw fast, it's just because I don't put too much detail in it until the end. And I see people who like put like every single little line, every single little stripe that's on someone's outfit and it's like, well, I usually don't do that stuff until I'm coloring because I just want to make sure that, I, that it's recognizable. So. Yeah. Okay, so. Doing the legs, keep looking back, make sure that the head is the right size. Okay, so I can see that from like the waist down to here, like where the legs meet, it's pretty long ways. So I can see how long it has to be. put this a little bit further like in like a little bit thinner just keep checking the camera to make sure it's recording because there have been a few times where it's not recording and then I have to redo this the whole thing so that would be the worst so the legs are a little bit too far apart I don't know why I keep using my pencil eraser I have to use this eraser it's bigger Okay, so I'm gonna do the ankle and I can see that this foot is pointing forward and it's a lot more in front than the other one.
So I'm doing the shoulders. Now, I know everyone struggles with hands. Hands are very hard, especially from memory. Um, for me, um, close-up hands, if I'm doing like, I did the, this really big hand study in an older sketchbook where I just copied like different positions of my hands and that was actually pretty easy. So if you want to do a hand exercise, just put your hand in different positions and copy it from real life. That's the easiest for me. Um, from cartoons, it's a little bit harder, but usually what I do is I don't start with the fingers because usually I'll draw a perfect finger and then it's in the wrong place, like I said earlier. So I just put like a kind of circle and then I'll do the fingers later once most of the other stuff is done. So now I'm gonna do the face shape or head shape, yeah. And then I'm gonna do those lines. So middle of the face, I can see she's looking that way. So that's what I'm gonna do and then eyes are up here. Okay, so I'm going to do the hair. And her hair is very, like, tall. Very big. Um, so it's, like, all the way up here. Sometimes it's hard to exaggerate things beyond what you think is correct. you guys have any video ideas that aren't just like tutorials like this and I would love to hear them because I don't want to just do like the same video all the time you know um, and eventually it's gonna kind of be hard because I know that there's a lot of stuff that people want to draw that I'm probably not going to get to like I'm, I can't draw everything that exists so if you have any other ideas I'd love to hear them Okay, so continuing with the glasses. And then the mouth. Okay. Um, that's pretty much it except for the fingers. So, and I think actually I have to look at it like this sometimes, like turn it upright. It's a lot easier to see it in comparison to the picture. I think her legs have to be a little bit longer. Kind of hard to see because I'm not looking at it from straight on, but you guys are. Okay, so now I'm going to do the fingers. See where each of the positions of the fingers are. The pinky starts like here. It's a little bit hard to see because part of her hand is black, so you can't really see the outline of the fingers. But okay, that's pretty good. Now I can just erase like the lines that are in the middle. Okay, one of the hands. Now I'm gonna do the other one. I hope this video doesn't wind up being too long. I might have to edit some stuff out. Let's see, the hands are giving me troubles. Yeah. Uh, 
Okay, that's that's all right. It's not perfect. Ends are always hard. I think this one definitely looks more accurate to the picture, but I don't want to spend all my time on this one drawing. So I'm going to find another clip. I definitely want to do, I'm not going to do too many drawings. I want to do one where you can see your eyes and then I also want to do one with her weapon, weapons. So, yeah, I'm gonna find another one. Okay, so I definitely wanted to find one where you could see her eyes. Um, this one is from Bismuth, um, and it's also a different expression because she's very sad. Well, she looks sad, but she's actually happy. Um, and the timestamp is two minutes and 57 seconds. So, yeah, I'm gonna do it over here. Hopefully I don't smear this one. I should probably have done this one over here. Um, but yeah, okay, so. Usually when I'm drawing, well sometimes I guess, when I'm drawing a character from a show, like now, um, I like revert to making it into a comic. Um, but yeah, I do that a lot. So I'm resisting putting like the other characters in the background in here. <laughs> it's so much fun okay so I'm gonna do the sketching for the different body parts Oh, let me move this up. Sorry about that. I didn't realize that it wasn't completely in the frame. Good thing I keep looking back at the camera. Okay, so now I'm gonna start on the more details. So from here to here, it's about this much. Definitely needs to go at a more vertical angle here. Okay. So. Okay, so for this one, her arm is kind of up in front. You can't really see her, this part of her arm, like the back part. So, draw where the hand is. Over here too, the hand is like here. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the hair. It's about here. That's pretty accurate. I'm gonna put the shoulder blades, I guess. Just the shoulders. A little bit more down, make sure it's symmetrical. I think her head needs to be a little bit like taller and thinner. Okay, so now I'm going to do the face lines here. Oh, it's about there. I 
a lot of erasing needed. People tell me that I draw fast. I don't know, I don't really feel like I draw fast, do I? Um, I don't know, it just feels normal to me. Okay, so I'm gonna do some more of the arms. I always go back and forth between the different body parts. I see people that like work really detailed on like a really detailed face. They work like, like that and then they finish the face and then they go on to the rest of it. I don't like to do that, I like to jump between everything. So let's try the fingers. <laughs> okay, I can see what's wrong right now. It's still hard to see the outlines in the picture. Okay, that's all right. Let's see. This one. to be taller. It's pretty good. Okay. This eye needs to be smaller. I hope this isn't boring for you guys. Maybe I should have scripted this. I did try making scripted videos, um, and it was just really hard to keep up with the script. It made me sound like not genuine, it made me sound like robotic when I just read from a piece of paper, and I didn't want to do that. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna do like the eyebrow kind of worry lines. Okay, um, I'm gonna do the pattern on her chest plate, I guess. I don't know what to call it. <laughs> All right. So, yeah. Okay, so the only thing left is basically the irises, the pupils, the highlights. I've had people ask me like how to draw eyes. There's no really like how to draw things. Like if someone asks like how like how do you draw this? I usually say like there's a bunch of different ways to draw. You just have to find what style works for you. Um, you can do them big or small. You can do them with like some people do them with irises or with highlights, some people do them without, and you know, anything can look well made. Okay, almost done, and that's it. Okay, so that was quite a lot. We have a full body one, uh, just a face one, and then, um, and then, a different expression also so that's what I'm gonna do for now so I hope you guys liked it and I hope it was helpful um I don't know how helpful it will be I tried to give as many tips as I could but I don't want to do just like a step-by-step -step kind of video because I feel like that's never really been helpful for me in the past like it's kind of like how like how to draw a dog and then it's like you know step one you make this line and it's like well there's a lot of different ways to draw a dog so I could do like different styles but I'm not gonna just do like a step-by-step -step tutorial but 
yeah so I hope you guys liked it if you have any other ideas um, for different video styles then let me know um, so yeah um, bye and hopefully I will post more consistently now uh, that I'm home a lot so yeah bye